Hello, sports fans. This is the Vernon Orioles versus the East Hartford Jets at McKenna Field. And Jimmy Schultz is on the mound for the Jets. He's going to walk Jack Halpin. But he strikes out Ian Halpin. And they get out at the top of the first. Corey Plasky gets a leadoff single for the Jets. First game of the year for both teams. And here is Kyle Desjardins flying out to right field. On the mound for the Orioles is Matt Curtis, and he gives up a liner to third base to Dan Trubia, but it's snagged, and the runner is safe at second base. There would be a lot of strikeouts in this game. Schultz would share in the strikeout fest. Another one on Jared Dalrymple. Curtis threw for Eastern for a little bit. Uh, now he throws for the Orioles in his, in his first game for the Orioles. Schultz, former D3 player of the year at Eastern as well. Tony Trubia with good play at shortstop for the Orioles. Got the short hop. Curtis strikes out Chris Golo. But Desjardins has a single through the sixth hole. And Jimmy Schultz is getting in on the action. Single to the left. Schultz still in the mound. However, Tony Trubia hits a bomb of a double all the way to left center fence. And here comes the relay throw. Jack Halpin scores 1-0 Orioles. Schultz gets Pogmore to go down swinging. Throw down the second, good throw, but it's a stolen base. And here's Jordan English at the dish. So there's gonna be a pitching change and Mark Damashi is on the mound, but Dan Trubia hits a three run homer. And that's the first three RBIs for Trubia. The 21 year Twilight veteran still hitting bombs. Former UConn graduate. He's right down the left field line. Wasn't the longest homer, but it was a no doubter. Mashi would pitch well the rest of the way. But it was all Orioles, and Ian Halpin strikes out Nate Vieira. Then he gets. Jeff Criscolo. Damashi gets out of the top of the sixth. And then Cole Lolly with a single to right field goes Oppo to move the runner from first to third. First and third and one out. And then Jared Dalrymple gets an RBI single to right field. Odd play here at third base because the base runner didn't slide, but he was still called safe. There's an RBI ground out, four to two Orioles. Then Nate Vieira smacks the ball up the middle, but it's stopped by the second baseman and Tony Trubia picks it up. Now on the mound for the Jets is Phil Ledwith. Ledwith will let some guys on, and here's an error on a slow roller to second base. So the Orioles are up five to two now. Top of the seventh. Ledwith will get out of the inning, striking out Ian Halpin. Halpin doesn't let it phase his pitching though, and he goes out for the bottom of the seventh. Plasky flies out, Chris Golo grounds out, and then Desjardins is the last batter of the game who flies out to right. 
So manager Jack Sabatelli and the Orioles have their first win of the year over the Jets in this rematch of the championship game from 2020. More to come in Game of the Week. Thanks for watching.